Hey guys, welcome back here to another video with Orms TV. Today we have Roger again here from Canon. How you doing? And um, he has got the all new, brand spanking new in fact, so new that no one else in the country has even seen it. EOS M5. Yeah, that's, that's it. Baby. Yeah. That's it. All new EOS M5 mirrorless camera from Canon. Finally, finally bringing us something that we really, really want out of their range. And Roger's going to tell us a bit about that. Okay. We, we've also, not, not just the, the M5, we've got the new 18-150 to 150 lens yeah, yeah. Uh, and the new little 28mm macro with a little built-in uh, uh, close-up light uh, on there as well. Um, but like, 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 like you were saying, you know, finally from Canon, we brought you something that you wanted. Um, people have accused us in the past of not being a, a real <laughs> serious player as far as mirrorless is concerned. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is essentially the first of what's you know, our future plans as far as Marissa is concerned. We, we want to be a serious player. Um, we want to answer what the, the Canon users want first and foremost. Um, we may not be the most innovative brand out there as far as Marissa is concerned. But what we've essentially done, and, and most notably in, in the M5 in particular, is we've put a very well-considered product into the market. Mm. Everything about it has been thought through to a very, very, very high degree in terms of what we know our Canon users want. Okay. Okay. And th this is the, the fruit of those labors. Oh, um, I'm not a big mirrorless fan myself. I, I like me a, a, you know, a 5D with a grip <laughs> or a DX or two. Um, it's a bit small. You know, if I could use a small camera like a G7 mm. or something like that. And it took me a while to, to like it. Okay. But literally in the last 48 hours, I'm very, 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 very enamored with this little piece of work. Okay, well that's always good to know. Um, mm. Can you give us a quick rundown just of the specs? I just okay. want to know what's the nitty gritty there. Well, it's essentially it's almost like exactly the same as our ATD. So mm. it's the same 24 million pixel sensor. Uh, it has the new processor, or a Digic 7 processor, where the ATD has the Digic 6. Yep. So there's a little bit more powerful algorithm behind the scenes as far as that's concerned. Okay. The same frames per second, what is it, six or seven frames a second. Mm -hmm. uh, really, really quick and, uh, and simple. It's got the, um, the flipping, the flip screen, flipping, <laughs> flip out, flip over, <laughs> that kind of screen, which is pretty cool. And the electronic viewfinder, mm. which up until now, I've been always a bit, you know, here, here, here. Not too sure about EVFs. Um, this one is is one of the best I've ever seen, uh, okay. and, and quite astonishing. Um, the thing I like about it is it's small without being too tiny. Yeah. E even with my meaty hands, I found it very very comfortable to mm. use. Those little knobs and wheels and dials that we've had in our G series for ages, and you've seen on other brands of cameras, um, they're there. The, the, the <laughs> familiar wheel that we've seen on most of our EOSs yeah. are there. But to all intents and purposes, it's an ATD in a very very small package with a new processor. Okay. Uh, and that new processor gives us a little bit of an edge where you know, the ATD is getting really, really good reviews internationally yeah. in terms of high ISO, low noise, and dynamic range. Um, this, I would say, is uh, just a, a little bit better than actually than the ATD. And some of the shots I did last night, we were fortunate enough to be here in Cape Town shooting a cosmopolitan lingerie fashion show. And a <laughs> tough, a tough, tough job, yeah, tough yeah, life, yeah. Roger. yeah. But um, I got to try it with without the flash with the new eighteen one fifty lens, which okay. is a, it's a kit lens. Make no mm, mistake, it's mm. an f six point three, so it's not as you can see, not dramatically bright. Yeah, yeah. And I was shooting handheld um, with the available light that was there, uh, with, without without um, you know, it's got an image stabilizer built in, and I'm just handheld click click clicking away. And what I'm seeing at five thousand ISO, that's pin sharp, and I, I'm just. Mind blown. Okay. All of all of a sudden, there's a mirrorless that I can actually use for for, for regular stuff, and right. I had it over one shoulder with my 5D4 over the other shoulder, and it wasn't like there was that radical a change between the two. It's just, I'm now using something a little bit smaller. Okay. And I was very 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 taken with the results, and from what I can see at 5,000 ISO, wow, clean, yeah. man. Is most of that down to the new processor that's in there? Well, it's it's a double whammy. We've taken, you know, when, when we launched the DX Mark II, um, we we, we re-engineered what we were doing in terms of the analog to digital yeah. signals straight off that sensor before it even went to the processor to reduce the noise at base level and increase the dynamic range. Okay. We then improved that on the ATD. We improved it again on the 5D4, yeah. and we've tweaked it a little bit for for this so that slightly more powerful Digic Seven at the back end makes the most out of what the changes we've already made. Okay. So if you think the, the ATD is good, this is just that little bit better. Okay. Okay, Roger, so that's pretty much like your stills take, yes. right? 
video. Okay. Talk to me about it. What have well, you got? Well, video, I mean, it's, it's, it's full high def, it's, it's a standard, mm -hmm. um, you know, the same settings you're going to get out of the ATD. So okay. um, it's good under low light conditions, fantastic for what the majority of people are going to be using it mm -hmm. for. It's a small compact camera for YouTube use, for vlogging, for that kind of story. Okay. Um, very quick, very simple, very easy to use. When, when you put some of the, like the STMs, like the little 22 more pancake, you've got a mm -hmm. tiny little camera you can put on the end of a stick yeah, yeah. and get some great shots with. Um, and, and as you, know, you, you were saying, you know, how, how serious is Canon uh, about mirrorless? Uh, yeah. the, the fact that we're launching new models, we're adding to the lens lineup. Um, the, the statement we're making is we may not be the most innovative brand, we may not be the most revolutionary in terms of spec or design or whatever it is, but we're investing and we're investing, this is tip of the iceberg, this is where we're going. We are certainly going to put more and more efforts and more and more energy into mirrorless as time goes by. Okay. And, and hints of things to come, you know, the, the, the 28 more macro lens. That's a very with, interesting with, little With the little, little built-in light, which is fantastic. Um, you, you mentioned it's very, very light. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 <laughs> it doesn't feel serious at all. And, and again, when, when you look at these lenses, they're small front elements, you know, it's not going to be bright, etc. The back end is now becoming a little bit more serious than ever before. Okay. So, you know, yes, we've got the EOS adapter. You can use any of the 70 odd lenses that we've got mm -hmm. on the EOS range. But that's, as you were saying earlier, kind of defeating the object. You know, you, you want a small camera, let's put a big 50 mil 1.2 on the front there. It's no longer this small. Yeah. Um, but it, it's a hint of things to come. We, we are going to be investing more in mirrorless. We are going to be making more. We're going to expand the lens lineup. Okay. But at the moment, we've got a lens that covers almost all categories. The astonishing little 11 22 yeah. um, for a wide angle lens, it, it's exquisite. Yeah. The 22 mm pancake is so tiny, it, it's ridiculous in terms of physical size, yet optically sound. Yeah. Uh, all of the standard 1855s, the 55 200, the 15 45, the standard kit lenses, and then this new one. Um, I, I'm thoroughly blown away. As 18 150 in, in 35 mm terms, a 28 to 200. Yeah. As an all-in-one walk-around lens, sorry, the silver one doesn't belong here, it's supposed to have a black one uh, to match the black camera, but um, we only got one in the country at the yeah. moment. But um, as a walk-around lens, that, that kit is really, really small. And it, it's something that you know, I could have in a little hip bag, for example, as a travel camera. And, and things that would make me disconcerted in the past, f6.3, that's not letting in a hell of a lot of light. True, yeah. With this sensor and with this high ISO performance, I'm like, doesn't matter. Okay, so the, you're, you're literally using just the raw power and technology to overcome the shortcomings, you know, in the lens lineup at the moment, for the well, time being. Well, I don't want to call it shortcomings, that's a, yeah. that's a horrible term. Fair damn, enough, damn fair you. enough. You know, um, the, the, the shortcomings are for a reason, you know, we want the lens to be small, yeah. you, you want it to be physically tiny, therefore 6.3, you know, if, if I put 2.8 on here, you yeah. know, big ass piece of glass. So, it, it's not a shortcoming, it's a... Uh, a sacrifice. So, you know, it's either okay. weight and size and price, or it's compact at f6.3. But as you quite rightly say, we're compromising. The power at the back end is being dialed up okay. to compensate for limitations that we might have at the front end because of what mirrorless needs to be, which is tiny. Okay, well, oh, that's yeah. perfect, yeah. Cool. Okay. But, but the, the, the biggest message that I have to say, you know, the, the M5 is an incredible product. Uh, and as I say, I'm not a big mirrorless fan myself. Mm, mm. But I'm very, very enamored with this, just purely from what we shot over the last couple of days with it. And this new lens is astonishing. But it's a hint that Canon is most certainly not walking away from the mirrorless market. You know, okay. so we, we're serious about this. We're going we're to be doing more, and we go, are going to be investing a lot more into it. So I am a mirrorless fanboy. Indeed. Okay, a big, big mirrorless fanboy. Yeah. Is Canon actually, as you're saying, proper going to go after the Fuji, the Sony, the Olympus? Yeah. I mean, that's where they want to go. I, you know, the, the difficulty is, you know, wh whether you say, you know, is Canon going to launch a product specifically to compete with those? Yeah. May not necessarily be the answer. Okay. Canon's going to launch a mirrorless product that appeals to what the Canon users want. Okay. So our, our first and foremost mm -hmm. aim is to satisfy people who've got an EOS investment already. Um, and because of that, you know, the lens is, is one of the most important things. That EF adapter is one of the greatest things. People who buy a mirrorless want a small walk around kind of camera mm. with a small lens that they'll buy as a kit lens, but they still want the power that they get from their EOS from time to time. They still want to put a Speedlight 600 on the top there, and if it's crazy enough, they want to put an 85 or 1.2 yeah. and still get a great shot. So they're the people we're taking care of first. So our target isn't let's go and kill the you know, brand A, brand B, brand C. Yeah. It's let's launch a product that's concerted and, and, and really well thought out 
for what the Canon photographers want. Okay. Um, and it's, it might be a slightly different approach to what you know, our competitors are doing. Oh, let's do this, that'll kill ABC competitive product. Mm -hmm. We're serious about mirrorless, but we're serious about what we think or where we think mirrorless is going to be going. And let, let's please the existing EOS database as it is, uh, which this is most certainly an answer to what a lot of them want. Then we start looking at, at where else we can go. And as I say, the, the, the limits, uh, uh, the, there are no limits to quality intense purposes. Um, because we've got the, the power, uh, as, as, as one of the biggest photographic brands internationally, <laughs> to do a whole bunch of interesting things. Okay, well, I mean, yeah. that's, that's really interesting, because that's literally what somebody like me has been waiting for, right, for right. Canon to actually come out. Okay. Um, there's been mirrorless models before from yeah. you guys, but nothing that's really sort of hit that spot. Exactly. And actually like, gotten me excited to make me go, yeah, Canon, great, mirrorless camera, Fantastic. give it to me, let me have a go. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, guys, that's it. That's the EOS M5. Yep. Roger, as always, thank you very much for bringing it along. My pleasure, thank you. When am I getting a demo unit to play with? As soon as we possibly can. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. Um, and yeah, and you're going to lend me one of these, right? Absolutely. We'll, we'll put a little kit together for you to, to play with. I, I think, um, I, as you said, you're, you're, you're a fan of Mirrorless mm. uh, and you, you've played with all the other brands. This isn't going to be a radical change to you in terms of oh my god, it's got this and it's got that, yeah. that you've never seen before. It's just a great little camera. And quality has always been what Canon's first and foremost step is. Mm, yeah. And what you're getting out of the lenses, great quality. What you're getting out of this sensor is astonishing. And I think that's one thing you're going to pick up first and foremost. Okay, maybe it doesn't have 4K, maybe it doesn't have this, maybe it doesn't have that. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you're getting an incredible little camera. And, and I, I, I'm dying to see what you personally think once, once you get it in your hands, because as I say, you're, you're a marvelous dude. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, Roger, thank you very much for coming around. Thanks for having us. Um, and mostly, thank you for putting this into perspective yeah. for us. Good. Because um, I think a lot of our viewers out there look at it, and if you look at it purely on paper, mm, you know, maybe it's not quite where it should be or yeah. where they want it to be, I yeah. think is, you know, um, sort of the way to put it um, and just getting a bit more perspective on what Canon wants from this and what they're trying to do yeah. I think that's that's rather fantastic. So thank you very much. Cool. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Yeah.